Bugatti is a luxury car brand that we all wish we could afford. Its history is muddled with plenty of success, as well as failure, and it showcases the driving forces behind its renowned infamy. These are the supercars of our dreams, but there is more to this company than meets the eye. Here's what you might not know about the company. The company was founded by Ettore Bugatti. Ettore Bugatti, the son of a famous designer and artist, was the man who created this incredible company. His career began back in 1899 when he designed cars for other companies, but in 1909 he decided to go a different direction and open his own factory. His factory produced more than just cars, as he supplied parts for railways, tools, and engines of different varieties. Number 2. The Bugatti Type 57 SE Atlantic is the most expensive car in the world. This car was built back in 1936 and it was personally designed by Ettore's son named Jean Bugatti. It has to be riveted together, as the metal was unable to be welded together. There was one prototype and three production models created, but of the four vehicles, only two of the production models are left. The incredibly unique teardrop design combined with its limited production makes it the most sought-after and expensive car in the world. They are said to be worth as much as $114 million, which is more than most of us will see in our entire lifetime. What? The Bugatti Veyron Super Sport is the fastest production sports car. The Bugatti Veyron Super Sport entered production from 2012 to 2015, and it broke the record for the fastest car put into production. It was created from scratch as other existing car parts wouldn't support their horsepower goals. It takes only 2.5 seconds for it to reach 100 miles per hour and 1,200 horsepower, which is an unbelievable achievement by this car company. Its top speed is over 250 miles per hour, which will throw you back in your seat and then some. It came at a low price of $2.4 million, and you had better hope it doesn't break down because each part costs more than that of an entirely new average vehicle. Number 4. They designed planes back in the 1930s. The Bugatti car company had helped design some airplane engines for the French government after the outbreak of World War I, but this was just the start of Ettore's interest. He wanted to create a plane that would defeat the Germans in the Deutsche Der La Muir Cup race, and he hired an outside designer to help his dreams come true. Number 5. They even created high-speed trains. Before they dove headfirst into airplanes, they had experience working on trains. Bugatti was all about speed, and Ettore wanted to create a train that was faster than his cars. The first train he ever built was tested in France back in 1933, and offered a great alternative to steam power locomotives. This was a great investment on Bugatti's part as they ended up maintaining over 100 rail cars, and it allowed them to stay afloat during the economic downturn during this period. His trains may also be considered the first example of a modernized train as the world transitioned to a new era of power-driven vehicles. A gentle reminder before we move ahead. If you're enjoying this video don't forget to give it a like, share this video and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more such videos in future. The front grille had to be changed because of birds. The recent issue Bugatti has fixed is with the front grille on their Chiron model vehicles. When these cars are taken at top speeds, birds have a tendency of smashing into the front grills. This might be okay if it wasn't for the fact they had been using aluminum until now. The aluminum would end up smashed and irreparable, but not they have changed it into a titanium grill that can withstand the force of these birds. These birds would fly through the grill and actually damage the radiator, which had lead to plenty of costly repairs that customers weren't too happy about. Number 7. The Bugatti Veyron has 10 radiators. Bugatti Veyron was a marvel of modern construction, as it comes equipped with 10 radiators. These radiators do a number of things that help the car run the best it possibly can. The average car has 1 to 2 radiators, but the Veyron has 3 radiators for its engine alone. It also has 3 heat exchangers for the air to liquid intercoolers, one for air conditioning, one for the oil transmission, one the differential oil, and finally one more for engine oil. It is a complex piece of machinery and this only goes to show how much time and effort went into creating this supercar. Number 8. The Chiron was named after their race car driver. The two fastest cars that Bugatti has ever created were named after the company's race car drivers of the time. The Bugatti Veyron earned its name from Pierre Veyron, who was hired as a driver for the company back in 1932. This Bugatti was named in his honor for his dedication to the brand and his unique set of skills behind the wheel of their vehicles. 
the Chiron underwent a similar fate as it was named for Louis Chiron, another one of Bugatti's race car drivers. He won several races for them until he was ultimately let go by the team in 1933. Number 9. They created the first 3D printed brake caliper. This was a project they started back in 2018, and it is an idea we can all get behind. The 3D printed object is lighter and stronger than other high-performance brakes used by companies. The main issue is the time it takes for them to make a single brake, as 45 hours is much too long for mass production. Number 10. Volkswagen now owns the company. When Ettore Bugatti died he had appointed Pierre Marco to take over the company. He partnered with Roland Bugatti, one of Ettore's sons, and created an unsuccessful model. The factories officially shut down in 1956 and then the name was passed around between companies until Volkswagen finally acquired the rights in 1998. Since then, they have been creating Bugatti cars for the public to enjoy in styles that Ettore himself would have approved. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave your thoughts in comments section below. You can also suggest us the topics we should cover in future videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.